Hi, for today's video, I will be demonstrating how to create an account and contact in Dynamics 365 using Advanco's Dynamics Adapter for OIC. This is a scenario I'll be demonstrating for today's video, where an application will publish customer data to a queue in RapidMQ, and then using Advanco's AMQP Adapter will get that data into OIC. After the data is in OIC, We'll create our integration with, Advanco Di with Dynamics 365 using Advanco's Dynamics 365 adapter and then create an account in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Two things I want to mention about this integration. The first is that the adapters need to be deployed on the connectivity agent so it can work with the server. The next is that if you need a more detailed look into how to integrate RapidMQ with OIC, you can refer to our previous video because this video will focus on the integration between Dynamics 365 and OIC. The first thing we need to do before creating this integration is establish our connections for this scenario. There are two connections for this scenario, the first being our connection to RabbitMQ and the second being our connection to Dynamics. For the further in-depth look at how to connect to RabbitMQ, you can refer to our previous video. However, I'll show you how to connect with Dynamics right here. So if we go in, we can see I already established our connection where we have our REST service URL, our timeout, and then our authorization grant type, as well as our username, password, client ID, secret, etc. These are all necessary in order to establish our connection and, order, and further optimize for this scenario. Following our establishment of the connection to Dynamics and RabbitMQ, we want to create the integration for this scenario. As you can see, I have already created one right here. And if we go in, this is our connection to RabbitMQ. So if we click through through the summary, I can show you a general idea of what we're doing for this scenario and what this connection is established for. So we have our queue topic that we established in RabbitMQ called customers. And then for our polling interval, we have every 90 seconds, we'll fetch 200 messages. As we scroll further down, we also have the schema for this scenario for the message mapping between RabbitMQ, OIC, and Dynamics. And further, we have our batching configuration as well, as you can see right here. Following that, I want to show you the configuration for our connection to Dynamics for this scenario. As you can see, we have our operation type being create. And then as we scroll further down, we have our objects we selected for this scenario. As you can see, we have our account object, as well as the related entity, contact. And as we scroll further down, we have our schema source as auto-generate, since we'll get our schemas from the account and contact objects. And as we scroll further down, we have our batch size, and then further configuration for this scenario, if need be. Finally, after configuring our connection to Dynamics for this scenario, we want to create our message mapping. As you can see, we have our source, and target schemas below where we have our customer name, ID, phone, website all mapped to the attributes in Dynamics. So as we scroll further down, we, we're under the account object and we see we have our address mapped to our current address, our website mapped to our website, and then if we scroll further down, we see our telephone and name mapped as well. The next thing I want to show you is our related entity, so our contact for this scenario. And if we scroll further down, we can see our related entities for this scenario. And we open up our customer contact. And then scroll further down, we also have the attributes for that as well, where we have the email address and the name, as you can see right here. The last thing we need to do for this scenario is test and make sure this integration is working properly. Like I stated earlier, the one thing we want to do is create an account with the related contact. So if we click on an existing account I have in my Dynamics systems currently, we'll see our account name and phone number, as well as the related contact and their information as well. So in order to test, we want to go into our queue that we created in our RabbitMQ instance and publish our message. So I'll go in and publish this message right here. We'll be, we'll be creating a customer and account called Advanco with the related contact, Peter. So as I copy it and paste it and publish it, we should see a change in our Dynamics instance if we go into our accounts. 
and search Edbanco. We'll see we'll have account created right here with all the information that we mapped earlier as well as the contact. And if we click on the contact, we'll have their information as well. Using Advanco's Dynamics Adapter for OIC makes integrating with Dynamics quick and easy.